Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this week's bus update video. Um, so this week, a lot of the updates, well, I guess they're not really updates, it's just showing you guys some stuff that was recently added to my growing collection of bus parts. Um, so that's going to be mostly on 3, of course. Uh, so we'll sit here for just a second on 45 and talk about a few things. Um, nothing new with 45. The same stuff I talked about last week about stuff I wanted to get done or want to get done this summer is still true. Um, other than that, I, I don't have any updates on the hood. I still have to logistically figure that all out, which I think I know what I want to do with that, but um, it's just a matter of doing it. So I would like to accomplish that this summer. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, aside from that, I do have a video scheduled for, uh, Wednesday that will be getting uploaded, um, on the White All-American Bank, so you guys will have that coming out. Um, this video, I'm gonna try to get it posted on Monday the 3rd let's see today's the 12th on the on the 13th of may so i'm hoping that this video you're watching was posted on monday the 13th at least that's my plan we'll see how that goes um so other than that there's really not much else going on we'll go ahead and go over to three just to kind of take a look at some of the new additions to my pile of old bus parts um and i do want to say if any of you guys watching this video or you know anybody that has an old bus and they might be looking or might, you know, need something from what I've got. Please have them get in contact with me or you yourself get in contact with me. Um, because these parts have been saved really from going into the trash for the sole purpose of, you know, going to somebody who needs them. Um, because a lot of this stuff, once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, so before I get on three, got a set of Amtran doors. Funny story behind this is when I was at Mason, there was a set of these sitting out in their junk pile. And I told myself, Noah, you don't need those. Don't even grab them. And I didn't. But I still ended up with a pair of Amtran doors. So I found that to be kind of funny. Um, now for the rest of it, i got to go on the bus because it's all on the bus. I, I haven't really put any of it away um, just for the fact of I wanted to show you guys. Um, oh, okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you here, I kind of did tuck away, it's these right here, these are, uh, various rear door track, like, that would go on the bottom, like, where the rear door closes for Carpenters and Amtrans, um, I think he said there may have been Bluebird in there, but I know for sure Carpenter and Amtran, um, rear door tracks, so that was one thing. Um, let's see. Moving on. I did move my big box of lights so I can walk through here a little bit easier. Uh, moving on. Step treads. These are all Amtran Genesis step treads that are basically brand new. So if you have a Genesis and you need a step tread or you know somebody that has a Genesis and you need a step tread... I have some, um, so there's these and more right there. The step tread I'm really happy about, and this one I'm going to keep for obvious reasons, is behind the Amtran door. Let's see if I can get you in there to see what it says. It's an Amtran step tread. Um, now I swear this looks like it could have went on an RE as big as it is, but with it having an angle down there, it may have been for um, some type of front engine. The Genesis step tread is angled completely different, so I don't know. That that could have been for a conventional, but it still seems kind of big even for a conventional. So I don't know, maybe you'd have to cut it down or something. But um, that I'm going to keep because it's Amtran branded, and you guys know me. love Amtran branded stuff. Um, here's the doors again. He had given me some of these previously, but he just went ahead and gave me all that he had. Um, these are the uh, chrome little... Uh, mounting brackets, I guess you could say, that hold the headlight in on a 3800. Um, so I got a bunch of those now, which is great because I have a 3800. Um, then we got this little box here. Uh, these right here are the bottoms for Amtran doors. 
um, that always seem to rot it out, rot out. Um, so there's some of those. Here's some door guides. Um, this I want to say was for a bluebird door. And then this right here goes to a gauge cluster. Um, let's see. Here's a rear door handle for something. It's kind of um, dirty, but I want it. Honestly, I'm trying to think what that was for. What that'd be for. Let's see. Does it say what it is? Hold on a second. Let me look. Let me look. Uh, it says something, but I can't tell what it says. It just says Cleveland on it. I don't know. If you know that shape, it may be a carpenter or a bluebird. Uh, it's not a bluebird. It's either carpenter. It could be Thomas. I don't know. But that was in there. Um, door tracks. And then more door guides. So that was a container of stuff. Um, then those two boxes right there, if you can see them, they have um, gauge clusters. Like empty gauge clusters. So the plastic piece. Um, which could be used. Uh, I think one of them's for first gen, and then one of them's for an older uh, 3800. The other one may also be for a 3800. Honestly, it just kind of looks like it has the surround for first gen, but I could be wrong. Um, this right here is a carpenter um, cover that would go on the interior of the bus to cover like the heater lines and stuff. So that's cool. I already have some for a Wayne, so now I've got one for a carpenter. Which is great, because I know a lot of people with carpenters. Um, was that it? No, that, that can't be it. I swear there was more. Uh, but we'll see. Doors, step tread, two boxes. I showed you the rear door tracks. Mm, that might be it. But I think that's it. Let me see. Hold on a second. That should be it. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I got to figure out, because these doors can't stand up because of how tall they are, I got to figure out where they're going to go. And like I said, I didn't put a lot of this away because I wanted to show you guys. But um, for sure, if, if you own an old bus and any of these parts end up being something you're looking for, please contact me. Like, send me an email. Um, because these parts... A lot of them, I don't even, I don't have a bus for them, but in my mind, I would rather take them and store them in my bus and, you know, be able to help somebody out when they need them than the parts get thrown away. So, like, even the carpenter rear doors, anything, if, if you own a bus and I, you seem to see something that I have that you may need, let me know. Uh, because I just, a lot of this is, is a preservation thing especially for the older buses. Um, so just, yeah, don't hesitate. Um, so I think that's pretty much it. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. I, <laughs> that window, the very last window on the driver's side is bent, which that's nothing new. So I swear I had a Wayne window that was half taken apart. It's so like the top half of the window was missing. It's not within my stack of windows here. And I, I honestly don't know where else I would have put it because it's a window, so I would have put it with the other windows. I have the bottom track that goes to a window in there for a Wayne, but I don't have the bottom half that I was thinking about. And then it dawned on me that I may have put it on 59 as, as just junk to get rid of, which kind of surprises me saying that it was a Wayne part, but I don't know where else it would have went in here. So I don't even know if I have it because my plan was, was to take that in the top of that bent window and make a complete window out of the bent one and the one that's just a half window because I, I want a good window there um, and I still need to get a window there to just cover that up because I, I, I feel like that's what's stopping me from doing a lot of reorganization in here um, but I don't know it may be in here somewhere but I don't know why I wouldn't have put it with the other windows I don't know uh, so that's something. Um, that's all the new stuff, the new parts stuff that I got. Uh, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Uh, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. 
Let me know what you think, and yeah.